Well, hello there, Scorpio. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your February 2024 um, Tarot reading. We'll first take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the Tarot for more details about any obstacles on your path or areas of resistance. And of course, we'll take a look at advice from Spirit. All right, so let's take a look and see what is on the horizon for you. Ascending the mountain, keep going forward and beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Okay, and that's the number six. Six is all about you are going to see victory, right? But um, both of these are, I feel like you're climbing some mountain, right? It could be a project you're having to put a lot of time and energy into. You could be going through a health issue. Um, there's also the energy here of, you know, a relationship that's just kind of like tiring. But here's the thing, especially with this beaver energy, it is about laying a solid foundation understanding that a solid foundation will help you to build what it is that you're wanting to build and then also <laughs> have it be stable so that it doesn't fall apart and with the number six you are you're going to see victory in the situation and not to worry it's kind of like allow yourself to take the time to build that strong foundation don't rush it <laughs> you know you can be trying to rush something so it's about nope go slow allow it to happen as it needs to happen and things will work out for you okay so let's see what we have here yeah empress on the bottom okay so you know this is um it, that's mother energy so it could um be some of you are trying to start a family okay and maybe are having a difficulty starting a family or something like that you are going to be victorious but it is about you know allowing a, Allowing yourself to do the things that really um, put you in a good energy for what it is that you're trying to create. The Empress is all about creating, whether that is a business, a, a home, a family, whatever it is. It's about allowing yourself to, to, to have that solid foundation, to really allow the time and energy in that situation. Okay, so let's see. Yes, we have very much <laughs> the divine feminine energy coming out with the empress, and now we have yin energy, divine feminine energy here, the nine of pentacles, very independent, kind of an energy of really focusing on what it is that you may want to do in order to nurture your divine feminine energy. And we it's not just for females, right? Because we all have divine feminine and masculine energy. This is taking really good care of yourself, understanding that if you don't have the strong foundation within yourself, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, that it doesn't matter what you build <laughs> even if it's successful, it's going to fall down because you'll get burnt out. This is the energy of I'm taking good care of myself because you know that this is a long road, right? <laughs> it's not a short road. You know, even if it, like, you know, you're um, wanting to start a family or something, understanding, okay, uh, uh, we, you know, I, uh, we need to get some things in place because when that baby is born, you have at least 18 years <laughs> where you are, um, you know, a, a parent, a direct parent. And even after that, you never stop being a parent, but this is the energy of understanding. Okay. This isn't a quick decision. This isn't something that we start today and it happens tomorrow. This is the energy of getting prepared, preparing yourself for something that is going to take a while to build where you're going to have to put your time and energy into it for the long term, right? But it's worth it because it's something that your heart truly desires. Your present energy is, this is heart-based, right? This is, you know, um, at mastering your emotions of wanting to give up really quickly, allowing yourself the energy to know that this is going to take some time. You are going to have to stay emotionally involved in whatever this is, but it's worth it because <laughs> slow and steady wins the race. This is something that is near and dear to your heart. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of one of those energies of 
not jumping out of the gate too fast. <laughs> I have done that so many times, right? Where you get all excited about something and then you jump out of the gate, but you don't take the time to really plan it out. The beaver spirit is that energy of strategizing getting a plan together if it's a business right you're putting together a business plan you're looking at this long term you're being realistic too in your plan if it's um something around your home it's kind of like looking at it long term this isn't something that you know, um, I just recently bought a home, right? It's expensive to move. It is expensive to buy and then you get a new home and there's all these things that you want to buy for it. Understanding that you don't want to make short-term quick decisions or make a decision that helps you in the short term. It's about late, looking for the long term, not taking any shortcuts. Yeah, beautiful energy here. Bringing balance, yeah. You have the Libra energy, okay, with the justice. You also have Aries energy with the emperor. Both of these, I, I feel like, you know, it could have something to do with a business or home situation, but this is also understanding that you can't be just a ruler, that you have to keep your heart in it. The emperor, a lot of times, is just about the business, you know, very can be very cutthroat about business. But this is the energy. If you want balance in this, if you want to have the energy, okay, to take this to the long haul, you, you have to allow your heart to be part of your decisions. You can't just get up in your emperor energy and just saying, okay, here I am <laughs> doing my emperor thing. You also need to allow your heart to, to kind of like um, help with the decisions, right? You need to bring that emotional balance back into your life. I feel like for some of you, because we had the empress earlier, it could also be a business partnership. The emperor and the empress can be a business partnership. It can be a marriage. It can be, you know, a situation where you're really working or have somebody in your life that you're really working with. But it's allowing it to stay in this balanced energy because you're having fun with it, right? It's not all about work. You're having fun with the Knight of um, Cups. You're expressing your appreciation for each other you're allowing each other some independence in the situation whether it's a marriage or a business partnership a little bit of autonomy right there's not a power imbalance one person's not making all the decisions it's a much more balanced and that is what's going to help this to go the long term it's that solid foundation of allowing both parties in whatever type of situation this is or if there's more than two people right allowing there to be that balance um yeah, really beautiful energy. Okay, so let's take a look at your obstacle. Oh, your obstacle is the Knight of Cups, okay? So that's the part that's missing. And then you have the loyal heart. Once again, that sense of a partnership with the Emperor and the Empress. Understanding this is your obstacle. There needs to be a little bit more um, love and appreciation um, for each other. And, you know, sometimes what happens is Scorpio, you, you can feel like you're appreciating them, but I feel because the King of Cups is here is maybe you're not getting as much back from this person as you are wanting. So this is also the energy of understanding that you can, I feel like you can kind of inspire this other person to share their feelings a little bit more when you allow yourself to share your feelings instead of maybe focusing on telling that person how you want them to share their feelings <laughs> it's kind of like i don't know it's kind of like um uh, a modeling is a little bit of like a modeling what it is that you want by showing them remember like the emperor and the empress right whether your business partners or romantic partners right um it's it's kind of like your mirrors to each other allowing yourself to be the mirror of what you're wanting reflected back to you um, and allowing that to be um, kind of like your driving force for a little bit. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, I feel like there's secrets, okay? 
there, there, there are secrets on both sides in this situation. People are holding back. It's going slow because people are holding back. Maybe just focusing on, on what it is that they want for themselves. So it's kind of like, okay, I'm working on my pentacles here. I don't have time for this lovely dovey conversation. <laughs> I'm working on my pentacles. It's allowing who, whatever this situation is for you, whatever type of relationship this is, it's a it's it's about allowing yourself to lift your head right and share your emotions with this person and i i guarantee you that you're going to have that reflected back to you i feel like for whatever reason maybe you know you got really busy in the business or you got really life got busy if it's a romantic connection life got really busy for both of you right and it's kind of like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> we just have to reconnect in the heart space, right? We have to allow ourselves to come up because I feel like there is both of you are just kind of like holding back because it's kind of like, well, I once again, I think it's kind of that energy of put out there what it is that you want it reflected back to you. Um, and allow yourself to to step into that position to take to take uh, the first step and allow that the allow the other person to come back yeah with what it is that they they want to say because the truth of the matter here is with the ace of swords is that you it, it's kind of like the love in this situation is uh, it's time for a nap it's kind of like been put on hold it's not that it's not there it's just kind of like it needs a rekindling I think it just needs a rekindling. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, the lovers, the judgment. Holding back, allowing yourselves to go in this new way. Yeah, I love it. So you have the lovers energy. So you have Gemini here. You have quite a bit of uh, major arcana here. The judgment card, okay. Um, making a decision. Is this a relationship that you want to go the distance with? I think it is because you have ascending the mountain, right? It's something that you want to go the distance. And right now, it's it's not bad. It's just people are holding back their emotions, right? And it's allowing yourselves. Okay, we just have to get back on track. I think with the two of wands, it's kind of like, how do we get back on track? Well, we get back on track because <laughs> we go on a date night <laughs> and share and, and, sh and talk, right? I feel like this is like one of those situations where maybe you're just not talking as much um, or when you're talking, you're talking about work or you're talking about, you know, the house or, or situations in life or whatever, but you're not really talking about how you feel about each other. And that's all that needs to be rekindled. There's actually a lot of love here. There's a lot of love. Actually, there's a lot of cups here. It's just, um, yeah, it's just allowing yourself to open up. I feel like you may be, <laughs> spirit may be saying, Scorpio, you're the one. Allow yourself to be the one to open up to this person and just share how you were feeling. Beautiful energy. It really is. Okay, these cards are wanting to flip. So let's pull a soul truth card for you. And Scorpio, I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. Let's see what we have here. How does my body want to move today? When we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? Is it time to try something new? Yeah, I love this. You know, sometimes when we get into this, you could be in a little bit of a funk because of this situation. And we start, you turn on that music and start dancing. Just changes your vibration totally. So, um, all right, I'm going to leave it there. And Pluto, um, last week, Pluto moved into Aquarius. It will be there for the next 20 years. We've been talking about it for some time. Last Saturday, I put um, up a video about it. It also has a free reflection journal. I'll put it up here. So if you'd like to check that out, um, because Pluto has now moved into your fifth house. Um, it wasn't, it, no, it's moved into your fourth house of home and family. So that would um, be impacting this situation. All right, I'll leave it there, Scorpio. Hope to see you again really soon. Much love and light. Bye for now.